Good morning! Well, we have had a lot of excitement in the uh, furniture section this morning. We found a lot of really cool things. Um, I'm going to show you um, a bunch of them today, but there's probably more for more videos. So uh, tune in next week as well um, to see those. So yeah, let's start with this. Uh, this I am going to uh, lovingly call the Frankenstein cabinet uh, because uh, this is somebody else's DIY project, I think. And uh, it's just a lot of fun to see kind of uh, what they did and what they used and uh, what it's like now. So yeah, at first glance, it looks like a shiny cabinet, but when you get up closer, you can really tell that um, it used to be something else. So uh, I wonder if you can guess um, specifically the bottom part. Um, you can see that the top and the bottom are two um, pretty different styles. Um, I think they look cool together. Somebody had a really neat idea. Uh, but check out the mid-century cabinet on the bottom. Can you see the fins on the corners? Aren't they great? The legs are fantastic. And then you look next to it and you're like, hey, why is this like this? Well, and then you open this and these are actually, um, not wood, they're like some kind of, well, they might be, uh, these are very thin wood, uh, but they're very different than the rest of it. So these were added later. There's um, a grocery bag on the back. These are actually old speakers. And so we think that this might be a television cabinet. And if you go around the back, which, oh, which we can't quite see, uh, you can see the perforated back uh, to it. So yeah, super cool. Uh, it's a really neat design, even though it's not a television anymore. Um, I love how the corners come out into these points over those fins. I think the, the legs on the side are pretty much the best. The best thing ever. So yeah, old television camera took the television out, put these doors on it, uh, left the speaker uh, grills with the, the fabric on the sides, and then added a, uh, a china cabinet top uh, to it to complete the, uh, uh, the piece. <laughs> so this has, um, it's got these type of uh, um, latches. So I'm not gonna try to open this one. It's hard one handed, uh, but yeah, it's got glass shelves. It's got a light in there. Um, yeah, they really kitted it out. So we have a price at 85 bucks. Um, I think you could do so many fun things with it. You could um, uh, remove the doors and put new ones on. You could take the top off and just use it as a sideboard. Uh, you could paint the whole thing. Um, yeah, it really, uh, the world's your oyster, but it's got a lot of cool uh, features that uh, can uh, um, help your, your creativity along, especially those legs. Let's hit them one more time. Aren't they great? They almost look like, um, fins for a rocket ship. Super cool. So we got that, and then over here, I wanted to show you, uh, this writing desk I think is really, really great. So it's also $85. It's got three shelves on the top. This is the, the flip down uh, writing desk. It's got three drawers at the bottom. Um, I personally really like the finish, how oh, it's got all of these uh, use marks on it. It makes it feel really warm and, uh, um, I don't know, just used, which I really enjoy. Uh, but you could also refinish it. Um, check out on the top how the uh, um, the shelves are slightly slanted. You see that? The top, the bottom one is um, just a little bit bigger than the top ones. I think that's really cool. Um, it has a lock. We don't have we don't have the key, um, but I still think it's a fun feature to to have those. Open it up, and man, the writing surface has um, the same. Those really great um, use marks. A lot of great patina on it I think and the hinges actually um, I feel like they're pretty uh, pretty solid uh, it, it has a little bit of bobble uh, but not as bad as some of these types of uh, of uh, desks um, and then yeah and then it's got three drawers in the back and lots of good cubbies um, which is probably the highlight of these types of desks I think um, so yeah this is a really awesome uh, piece uh, whether you want to DIY something with it or uh, yeah or keep it as is I mean, it'd just be nice, um, cleaned and oiled, I think, for sure. Uh, but yeah, you do you. Um, there is a mid-century sewing machine next to it, which we'll talk about later next week, because Andrew's going to give us a dem demo, hopefully. Um, and then I wanted to show you these chairs, because we have a ton of them. We have at least 50. <laughs> so if you're starting a small business, or if you have an event coming that you need uh, matching chairs, um, these are really great. Look at they're just like... Yeah, some nice modern chairs. These metal backs. I love the tapered legs. I love how the leg um, sticks out from the side of the seat. Look at just round wooden seats. And they stack. And it's great how they stack too. They all kind of, they, they spin as you uh, put them in. So they're 25 bucks a piece. These are um, available on our marketplace. 
and that's communityforkliftmarketplace.org. So if you need some chairs, um, yeah, check them out. Um, also, please send this to uh, anybody you know in the area who might be opening a small business and needs a, uh, a hand up because, uh, yeah, they great price for uh, matching chairs. Um, behind it, you'll see this hutch has a sold sticker on it. That's just a quick moment to tell you that uh, we do have five days of free storage here in the warehouse. So if you find a piece that you like, uh, but you can't get it home, you can uh, um, purchase it and then fill out a storage form and uh, come back within five days. So that gives you time to arrange for transportation. Um, I wanted to show you this table too. Um, I think the design is great. Look at the turn or the uh, the legs, these kind of fluted um, columns. And then I love how the, uh, um, the edges have this kind of ribbed um, rounded area. It's just a yeah, really neat design. And then in the uh, veneer, there's this little oval, uh, yeah, I really, I think it's beautiful. It also has a lot of cool features as well. So I'll try to do this one hand and we'll see how it works. Um, as you can see, it's a, um, an expandable table. So this is really great for small spaces. Um, if, you, um, if you don't need a ton of seating regularly, you can keep it uh, pushed up against the wall. Uh, but then if you have a dinner party, you just come in and you pull the bottom out. Oh, like I said, really hard for Sorry, extreme close-up. <laughs> See, and the back pops out, and then the top lifts up and gives you a bigger table. And as well, uh, there, you can see there are two um, seams here. This seam is uh, um, also spreads, and the table can um, move even further apart to add leaves. Um, so yeah, a lot of cool, um, a lot of cool features. Um, I don't think this is actually pulled out all the way. I'm just having a hard time with doing it one-handed. So. Uh, Come in and play around with it because it's a lot of fun. <laughs> and uh, um, yeah, it's, it's super, uh, super handy for a small space. Um, so yeah, those are some of the uh, um, some of the furniture pieces that have kind of cool uh, features to them. Um, we've got a lot more furniture in the warehouse. So yeah, come check us out. The, we're open every day from 12 to 5 p.m. And you can uh, walk around and see what's what. Uh, we also have, as I mentioned with the uh, chairs, we have some furniture listed on our marketplace. And that's communityforklifemarketplace.org. So you can check it out and also purchase there. So, all right. Well, hey, if you have any questions about our nonprofit, how you can donate materials or purchase materials, uh, please put them in the comments and uh, I will get back to you. But otherwise, thanks a lot for joining me and have a great day.